Tokyo, the biggest city in the world. Home to 30 million people, a jumble of concrete and glass, the buildings crammed together so tightly there's often barely room to squeeze between them. Down here at street level, the problem is even clearer. If I stretch my arms out here, I can almost touch the buildings on either side of the street. Now, that's not a problem when you're putting them up, but it's much more of a problem when you want to bring them down. This is the normal way of bringing down old high-rises. It's tricky and dirty, and it doesn't always go quite as it should. So in Japan, they've come up with something better. That building behind me there is Tokyo's famous Akasaka Grand Prince Hotel. It looks pretty much like any other 1980s glass skyscraper, except when you see what's happened to it in the last few months. The once swanky Akasaka Prince is finding new fame as Tokyo's amazing, shrinking building. From inside, it's even more dramatic as the building is lowered on massive jacks. But from street level, many don't even notice. <laughs> really, says this woman? I didn't realize. <laughs> oh yes, says this woman. I have a photo of what it used to look like. It was much taller. The company that's developed the system says it's cleaner, safer and more environmental. In Japan and many big cities like Hong Kong, Singapore and in the US, there are many towers over a hundred meters that will need to come down. In this way, we can do it safe and clean. For a hundred years, we've got used to seeing skyscrapers growing higher and higher. Don't be surprised if you now start seeing some going the other way too. Rupert Wingfield Hayes, BBC News, in Tokyo.